Yeah, another beautiful morning on the island. Getting ready to build the facility. Some of the workers have showed up this morning. Others will be coming in later because they'll be bringing in a bunch of materials in the boat. Been working to get the fence put around the facility so people don't go stumbling all over. We have rented bungalows on the end of the island, so you don't want people, sometimes there'll be a couple of hundred folks and kids wandering around, don't want them stumbling and falling. Got the satellite cable hooked up, electrics all hooked up, heavy gates. Houses we're moving in, getting settled in there. One of the projects that we're working on right now is the dirty kitchen. You got a NEPA roof, you don't like the idea of cooking underneath it because it's a fire hazard. So we we'll put the kitchen over there. Here's the saltwater pond, which we'll be putting a bunch of floating cages. So it should be getting the material for the cages today. So I'll be building the first one, the prototype. I'll post that on the Facebook, the frame. Anyone interested? Delivery of wood came in last night, one this morning. We're staging all the material to do the projects. That's going to be the big one, putting the roof in the facility. Got a pretty secure fence. Of course, you know, a padlock's only meant to keep honest people honest, but for the most part, it should be do adequate to keep people out of here. Let them know this is a no-go zone. Like I said, we have bungalows. When those things are filled, there could be a couple of hundred people there. We moved the CR out of the bit facility built a CR on the side of the building facing the ocean over there so I don't want a CR inside the facility because I don't want the health issues with it when they start coming here to do inspections the platform where the CR was before will be filled in and we'll use it to put the pumps aerators over there Salt water tanks will line this side over here. I'll have salt water tanks over there. We're going to start cleaning and clearing. You see this railing over there that was originally was a second floor up there. It comes up to about halfway point over here where you see that beam come down. That's going to be the bottom of the roof. We're going to put the roof down inside the structure for right now. I don't need to build the second floor yet. Will later. But that'll help protect it because you can get some pretty wicked winds coming through here and NEMPA has a tendency to fall. So we'll be able to put it down inside the structure. That'll help protect the NEMPA roof. And I'll run rain gutters running across this way and this way. And then I'll trap water here on this side and right along this area in here, which we use to water the gardens and uh, uh, vegetables. All this area down inside here will turn into uh, vegetables and uh, flower beds. We're going to transplant the grass from the inside over there, bring it out here and go ahead and do plugs and then I'm going to play seed down. So hopefully this time next year this is going to have a nice beautiful lush green lawn instead of this. We've got to bring the topsoil to dress the surface for the grass before we put it down. Today or tomorrow we should start tearing into that project and once they do that then I'll start building the tanks. We've got a hollow block maker that makes four blocks at a time. We're going to have to bring it over here and then we'll start making the hollow blocks to do the tank. Most hollow blocks here go anywhere between 70 and 100 hollow blocks per one sack of Crete. Because of the inner stress that will be holding uh, the salt water in these tanks, we're going to be doing them between 25 and 30 hollow blocks per, so we have that extra strength inside so we don't have to worry about a tank rupture. But 
that's pretty much progress to date so as we do another step or procedure I'll go ahead and post another one wait for the next video to come y'all have a good day now